Hey guys, so the results of my bizarre ultrasound are in, and um, I am the lucky patient who has the 1 in 1,000 odds of having a molar pregnancy. So basically what that is, is where there's an issue with the either the egg or the sperm um, at the time of conception, and my body completely believes that I'm pregnant. Um, I have a gestational sac that is measuring about nine weeks, but there's no embryo or anything. Um, my whole uterus has been distended and it's just full of blood clots basically and other material. Um, there's um, an 11 centimeter by nine centimeter by four and a half centimeter mass that's just like this useless ball of not baby. Um, a molar pregnancy is a benign type of tumor um, in very, very rare cases, uh, it can develop to be a cancerous issue, but um, that's not the norm. So uh, where we go from here is that tomorrow I will have a DNC. Um, I don't actually know a lot about DNCs. I know it's basically like an abortion. It's um, where your uh, the surgeon or whoever performs it will get rid of all of the embryogenic material in your uterus. Um, the goal of of this is to help your body start returning the HCG levels to zero um, because we want to see that all the tissue is gone because molar tissue, uh, if left behind, it can develop again um, and that will be a problem. So yeah, um, I guess like there's good and bad news. I'll say the bad news first so I can end on a positive note. The bad news is um, Joe and I will have to stop trying to conceive for like several months, which is really disappointing. Um, it's kind of like one thing to have a miscarriage if you're trying to conceive with infertility issues. Like having a miscarriage is already super disappointing, but to also then not be allowed to try to conceive, like I'll probably have to go on birth control for a few months, um, is just adding insult to injury. So that's really, really disappointing. Um, but on the plus side, um, I do feel a little bit vindicated. Um, I have been having awful nausea for the past five or six weeks and anybody, like mostly anybody I've talked to, um, just seems to think it's because I'm like sad about the miscarriage, but that hasn't been the case. I feel like I adjusted pretty well to the miscarriage and had started, you know, move on pretty effectively, but I still had this awful nausea. I still felt exhausted and just generally really pregnant. And, uh, this explains why I felt that way. It's because my body totally believed I was pregnant and my HCG levels are still pretty high. So yeah, the other, um, yeah, so basically the positive news is I'll be able to eat food again. Um, and that will be nice. Um, I, I did lose like 10 pounds over the course of this miscarriage. And that is also explained by this because, uh, not only was it not eating right, but, um, it can cause a symptoms of hyper, hyperthyroidism, which can cause you to lose weight. So that's explained. Um, I guess like the, yeah, the, at the end of the day, like five years from now, um, Joe and I will probably have a second baby, you know, like in five years. And whoever that second baby is will be really, really happy to have that specific baby. And if it meant that I had to have a molar, molar pregnancy to get to that baby, I think I'll be okay with that. So I know this will be okay in the end. I'm just pretty choked about losing the time to try to conceive now because now Sam and a sibling will be way more than three years apart and that's not really what I wanted. Um, yeah, and also I'm very afraid of needles, so having to do um, uh, like the IV thing, I've never done that before, so tomorrow I'm going to have an IV and I'm pretty scared about that, so that sucks. Um, I'll update you guys about how the DNC goes. Um, I'm not going to Google it because I just don't want to know what happens. I'll just tell you guys afterwards. Yeah. Okay, so keep me in your thoughts and um, all the best. Bye.